Hi, I'm Jonathan Kohler. I'm a pediatric surgeon, and today I'm here to talk to you about belly buttons. About two in every 10 babies are born with a small hole in the wall of the abdomen where the umbilical cord comes out. This hole is what we call an umbilical hernia. The skin over the hole can get stretched out, giving umbilical hernias their classic outy look, but it's the hole, not the skin on top of it, that's the hernia. The skin over the hernia can have a big bump like an adult's finger, or it can have no bump at all. Having a hole in your baby's belly may sound and look scary, but hundreds of thousands of babies are born with these hernias in the United States every year. Complications from umbilical hernias are extremely rare in kids. We don't know how often kids have a serious complication from their umbilical hernia, but we think it's no more than one in 10,000 kids. The biggest concern for kids is that the intestines, or the omentum, which is the layer of fat that lays over the intestines, can come out through the umbilical hernia hole and get stuck. This is called incarceration. But again, it almost never happens. Sometimes parents think that the hernia hurts because when a baby cries, the hernia bulges out. But in fact, it's almost always the case that the hernia is sticking out because the child is crying, not that the child is crying because the hernia is sticking out. Does that make sense? As long as the contents of the hernia can be gently pushed back in, it almost certainly isn't causing in about nine of every 10 children, the hernia closes on its own by the time a child is four or five years old. People have tried to figure out how to predict which hernias will close and which will not, and it turns out that no one's really figured that out yet. For example, just because a hernia is big at birth or has a large bump of overlying skin, that doesn't necessarily mean that the hernia won't close by itself. Now, what all that means is that children who get their hernias repaired before age four or five may be having unnecessary operations for a hernia that might fix itself and almost certainly wouldn't cause a problem. That exposes those kids to the risk of surgery, which are very, very low, but are certainly not zero. And there are other risks. For instance, about half of kids who have an umbilical hernia repair fill a prescription for opioid pain medicine after surgery, which has risks of its own. In fact, kids generally do fine with over-the-counter pain medicines like ibuprofen and acetaminophen after surgery, even if your child's doctor gives you a prescription for opioid pain medicine, you don't need to fill it. Until very recently, there was no official guideline for when umbilical hernias should be repaired. But now there is. The American Academy of Pediatrics Section on Surgery and the Choosing Wisely campaign have issued a guideline for primary care doctors about when to send a child to a surgeon for umbilical hernia repair. Here's what it says. Avoid referring most children with umbilical hernias to a pediatric surgeon until around age four to five years. Primary care doctors, surgeons, parents, and patients. We all need to work together to make sure that kids get the care they need and don't have unnecessary operations. Thanks so much for joining me today. You can find more information in the links below. Bye.